I keep pretty close tabs on the lawn care community and I never see anybody showing their zero turn mower pulling a trailer. So today we're gonna to take a look and see what's going on with that. Several years ago when I bought this mower, I recall on the Skag pamphlet that they showed an option, I think it was 50 or $75 for a hitch. And it was basically just, it looked like a piece of angle iron. So my local steel shop, where I buy my steel columns, jack posts from, they made this up for me for a pretty good deal. And it's just like a big piece of angle iron. They cut this, uh, let me give you a close look at it. They, they cut this angle right there and then there's uh, a hole right there that'll fit actually a one and seven eighths ball. Sometimes I haul another small trailer with it, like a ATV trailer, something really lightweight, a Rubbermaid one. And then there's two bolts underneath here where it bolts into the steel deck of the mower itself. So I've had it on there for years and it's worked well. I haven't seen it compromise anything on there. So last fall when I was at my local Skag dealer, I asked someone there about towing with a zero turn mower and he asked if I had a belt drive or a shaft drive. I said a shaft drive. He said, good, with the shaft drive, it's okay with that. He wouldn't really recommend it with the belt drive. He said, you can pull up to 500 pounds with it. He said, but when you do, make sure that you have the throttle up all the way. I'm guessing that the majority of you probably know the difference between a belt drive and a shaft drive zero turn mower. In case you don't, I'm gonna show you a difference between two different ones. The first clip I'm gonna show you is a Xmark 52 inch belt drive. And this involves my GoPro camera and a shovel. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoy the little extra effort I went through to show you what this looks like. The second clip I'm gonna show you is gonna be the Skag Turf Tiger. It's a 61 inch deck. So let's check that clip. Okay, so now we have that all cleared up. Let's get towing. This is a 48 inch roller, I'm putting it behind the zero turn. I don't have it all the way filled with water, so I'm guessing I have between three and 400 pounds. So let's see how that works. So in the springtime, especially over by the trampoline area, we like to play a lot of wiffle ball, so it's nice to be able to run on a nice smooth surface. So let's try this a little bit with the roller. All right, rev it all the way up first and let's get going.
Another thing that would be really handy for hauling behind your mower is a little bit of firewood or some mulch. So as you can see, the zero turn definitely pulls the different trailers just fine. So I'm thinking every once in a while, if you need to haul something around, then might as well uh, be resourceful with what you have and using your zero turn. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you find this video interesting or informative, please give it a thumbs up. It helps support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right, so please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. If you want to check out what I'm doing throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends. Enjoy.